Chlorite is the green pleochroic mineral, um, low to moderate relief, very similar to the muscovite that's also in this section. And it has a pleochroic halo around um, an accessory mineral with a high concentration of radioactive elements. It has this unusual interference color, anomalous interference color. This one is sort of a brownish green color, um, and that's characteristic of a magnesium rich chlorite. Now this is chlorite in a graphitic schist, and you can probably only barely see it. There is a little bit of pleochroism, uh, but when you cross the polars, it becomes very obvious um, because of its distinctive interference colors. Uh, so it's right there. It's this sort of bluish color. Now the more iron-rich uh, chlorites are bluer with interference colors. The more magnesium-rich ones are browner. This is chlorite in an amphibolite, um, so that's all hornblende around it. And mostly I put it in there to show it has lower relief than amphiboles. It's more of a grass green than an olive green um, in, uh, in terms of its pleochroism. Uh, but it has that same distinctive um, sort of gray-green uh, interference colors, the anomalous interference colors. Here's more chlorite, but now the flake is oriented parallel to the surface of the thin section. So you're looking down on a cleavage plane there. And as a consequence, the, the halos, radiation damage halos, are not pleochroic. And when you cross the polars, it is pretty much just black in, um, in, in cross polars. So that's also chlorite. It has a distinctive green color, but in this particular orientation, it doesn't have the same pleochroism and interference colors. This chloride has some interesting textures. There's some pleochroic halos. Uh, there's one big one. Um, there's a bunch of little ilmenite inclusions in there. That could be because it's formed um, as a retrograde product after biotite. Biotite has a lot of titanium in it. The titanium doesn't go into chloride, so it forms ilmenite. Um, but you can see some deformation in here and um, that same sort of weird chloride um, interference colors. Now this is a really interesting chlorite. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it's got the same green light pleochroism of, of all chlorites, but when you cross the polars, what you'll see is it has two different anomalous interference colors. There's this sort of brownish greenish uh, color, the khaki color, and there's also that um, anomalous blue color. Um, it's unusual to find them both in the same crystal. And this chlorite, um, same pleochroic green, <laughs> um, moderate relief. Uh, but this one, when you when you cross the polars, this is the most spectacular blue interference color I have ever seen in chlorite. Isn't that amazing? I think it's absolutely spectacular. And this is an unusual chlorite. It's a little bluer in plain polarized light for pleochroism than most. Um, but what makes it really distinctive is when you cross the polars, it has the most spectacular purple color. It's the only time I've uh, ever seen chlorite that's, that's quite like this. Isn't that beautiful?